show you a real easy way to make a nice little abstract butterfly without too much effort okay so I what I did is I traced like the little body of the butterfly which we know it's gonna kind of be brown and here's the little which we can do later with a little sharpie but all I did was put a couple of little lines in here um, to do the wings and we're gonna do a lot of uh, water in this painting but for right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my burnt sienna watercolor Okay, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of color in here for my little body. And I'm doing this sideways so that you can see the brush the way I'm working it, right? So I'm gonna come here for my straight brush and put a little bit of brown body in there and on the top, see that? That's the body, you don't have to worry about anything else, no more colors or anything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use water to your advantage. Now think of watercolors as wherever there's water is where the paint is going to go on. If it's dry, the paint is not going to go on it. So if you want to make kind of like an abstract butterfly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and put some water in and I'm going to stop right around there. And we're going to make this butterfly blue. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my water in there and let it run wherever it wants. See that? So that blue is not going to go anywhere where there's no water. Now, the next area, I want it to be a little bit stronger. So I'm not going to put water in first. I'm just going to do my blue and let those two colors mix together see that the bottom one i barely want to see so what i'm going to do is put a lot of water in there put a little bit of blue and drop it and let it go wherever it wants okay Now, what I want to do is I want to make these little areas a little bit darker, but if I was to, going to put paint in here now a little bit darker, what's going to happen is it's going to bleed all in there. And if you try to make these connect to the little butterfly over here, it's going to bleed into the butterfly because remember this little part is wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of color in my background to give that a chance to dry. So I'm just going to use plain old H2O and I'm going to wet this pretty heavy and I'm going to take a little bit of my yellow paint I'm just going to drop it around my butterfly see that and I'm not covering every little single white area of my background because we can put a mat on here and we're not going to see any of that okay so this area here is dry Whatever paint I have left in my brush, it's what I'm going to brush out there. Maybe put a little bit of that yellow there just to give us an illusion. But see how you can barely see that yellow in the background? Now we have a butterfly. So now what we want to do is bring some of these here to make them a little bit darker. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to just wipe here and see if this is doable. If it's almost dry that I can do my little lines. And I think I can, because I don't see a lot of my paint coming out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my blue, and I'm gonna do it straight on, no water, and I'm gonna take a little bit of what this color is called Payne's Gray. It's almost like a dark purple. And I'm gonna come here and very softly bring that color out. See that? Bring that color straight out and give them some little veins. Now, is that not the simplest butterfly you've ever seen? I don't like that too strong there, so I'm just gonna walk it out. See that? You can fix anything. That looks pretty cool. And I'm just using, what, two colors? Now, what happens is, 
I want a little bit more separation between these two guys, but I don't want to make it so obvious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into my Payne's Gray. So right now we've just used blue, Payne's Gray, yellow for the background, and burnt sienna for the little butterfly. And I'm going to come here just straight in and do a different lens. See that? Rinse my brush, walk it out a little bit so that it's not so heavy. And I've got a nice little butterfly. Last but not least, I told you this was going to be really quick. Can't get any quicker than that. I'm going to take a little bit of my Payne's Gray. And I'm going to wet it really heavy, tap it on my paper towel, and come as high as you can and spatter. Not enough paint. Take a little bit more and speckle. And there you go. Now you got a real easy butterfly. Sign it, mat it, and give it to somebody as a gift. And enjoy your painting. Thank you for watching.